Yeah. So, um, yeah, I feel like the team is very stable. You know, it's been two years since Kickstarter. Um, and we have four major features we plan to deliver before Steam. And, you know, there's hundreds of features in the game now. So I feel like we're a lot closer to the end. And even when you're pledging, you're getting a full game. You know, like this game is is totally playable. We have Welcome like our core communities put in hundreds of hours. And uh, it's just, it's a smaller map. And it's missing some of those things like mounts and stuff that are coming before Steam. But other than that, I mean, it's totally playable. We got PvP. We got we got everything, man. Awesome, dude. Thanks, thanks for the resub, by the way, Captain Jack. Captain Jack. Captain Jack resubbed. Okay, so another question was, how much are the pledges? Is what somebody wants to know. And I think for Alpha Access immediately, it was um, it was forty. Yes. Yep. A $40 um, gets you alpha access and the game forever. Um, it's a subscription-free game. So kind of like Guild Wars, we're going to kind of release content in um, increments. Right. So so when you buy it, 40 bucks, you get the game. You never have to worry about paying a subscription to be able to play. Sweet. Very cool. All right, so I'm just getting into town here. I uh, I didn't play a whole bunch on um, the other the other spot. I'm playing my regular game character, so I'll run around with you. Okay. <laughs> Where are you at? What's your name? Uh, my it's Zuljan. Um, I am right near the blacksmith in. Uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Um, just a couple of hot keys that help you out a little mm-hmm. bit. Um, there's three that are helpful in locating things. So you got, if you hold E, okay. um, it'll give you names and health bars. Oh, cool. Um, okay. and if you like health, uh, the names, some people like to have the names on all the time. Mm-hmm. I don't, I prefer to just have them on when I'm looking for something. Right. Um, and then the other one is the shift key gives you these big, ugly oh, things yeah, to grab yeah, onto. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and so when you're in a big fight, they don't, they don't overlap like the names do. So they're really easy to grab a hold of if you need to hit somebody with something. Right. Um, what sort of game is this? <laughs> That's an awesome question. I think there was another one back up there that we didn't answer though yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, if we get a key, no NDA, question mark. So we lifted the NDA for the weekend. Um, the NDA will get back into effect on Monday, which means anything seen, learned, screenshotted, or videoed during this weekend is is kind of open game to be shared um and then once we close again any new development that we have will be back under the nda so was the the uh, older version on the nda yeah we've been under nda the entire time we just um we make we cut holes in it for streamers and oh my god i broke the hell out of it when i streamed it then i had no no i think you streamed during one of those weekends where we gave you real that was totally accidental man because i had (laughs) I think I had read the TOS and I was like, oh, it's fine, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, dude, I'm so embarrassed. No, I don't think you did, man. I think you did it during one of those weekends where we were letting people stream. Oh, well, maybe. Uh, we'll I see. sure hope so. <laughs> I'm going to go back through the logs and. Uh, Accidental luck. Damn. <laughs> Can you believe, dude? I'm hanging out by the um, the blacksmith over here. Where are you at? All right. I just moved a little bit down. I was just kind of moving around. I should be there in no time. All right. So the to the answer to the what sort of game is this question, um, it is a difficult question to answer. I can give you – so I was the lead programmer of Ultima Online. Um, the, the other guy that founded this studio with me was the lead designer of Ultima Online. So obviously a lot of our inspiration comes from there. Right. Um, we've always wanted to see a more modern – kind of vision of the ultimate online kind of style of living virtual worlds. Um, I don't think a lot of games have captured it really all that well. There's been a lot of people who've tried and, um, and I think some people have come close, but um, one of the things that we had an advantage of is that I understand how ultimate online was built. What made ultimate online special was the way the world was built kind of, with this like simulation thinking like the the objects in the world are set up to just 
be there and do their thing, you know, and you just kind of jump in there and interact with them. Right. And so we try not to like throw you in there and go, okay, you have to go here and then go here and do this. And then, you know, when you hit level 10, you go here. Like we just don't have that kind of rail. There's no rails. Right. Um, there's some quests in the beginning to kind of get you foot, like get your footing. And there are some quests that kind of, you know, move along the story and stuff, but there's no like, okay, when you're level 20, you go to, you know, this zone. We just don't have that kind of stuff. Right. So it's much more, um, much more kind of immersive because of that. Like you don't have this like linear path that you travel as you get higher level, you know? I thought I was in the, I thought I was around the blacksmith, but you aren't there. I'm, uh, I'm traveling south down a road here. I'm trying to figure it out. Also, my client seems to be stuttering a lot more than the old uh, client. I had just upgraded, so I really hadn't time to mess with uh, my options. Do you know what might uh, cause that? Let me take a look at your stream. One of the things that we did to improve uh, performance for some lower... Oh, it's the houses, man. Okay, yeah, uh, you're walking through the housing area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so those are player houses, and right. um, we had never had this many objects in, in these houses until recently you know these people just kind of built up their houses over time right and so we haven't had a, a chance to optimize the client to catch up to it so gotcha. when you're in those housing areas it's going to be a little stuttery okay but um so that's just alpha jitters right where should i head from here then well i see you so um if oh, you had now um the n on your compass is a little tricky to see um there is a little n though i see it yep. you know where north is. Mm -hmm. so you can head like south from there and i'll meet south you on the road from here okay that's good because there's a wolf in my path if I was going to... Player housing is one of the things that really kind of sets this game apart because of the fact that every object in the game is an actual object that you can place on the ground. You know, most games, it exists as like a little sprite in your backpack, but it doesn't right. actually exist in the world. And so it gives you... It kind of opens the door um, when it comes to like decorating, you know, because you have so much to work with. Like you can see that guy with all those boxes and crates and everything. Yeah. Like we didn't really ever intend for anybody to use that <laughs> in that manner. You yeah. know, he just thought it looked cool. So I got to tell you, man, uh, the original Ultima Online, I was that guy. I was the one stacking a leaf on top of a uh, uh, a white stone that I found in this graveyard and and putting this strange wrench in a configuration and trying to restack it until it it manifested into what looked like a toilet. You know, I was decorating <laughs> in Ultima. I was stacking items when when that was popular. And I was trying to to decorate houses and stuff. I played Ultima Online on and off for fifteen years, Derek. Wow. I am. I am. <laughs> if if there's a junkie out there, I'm him. Yeah. Like, were you in during the Stygian Abyss time? Uh, uh, no. I actually got out at Stygian Abyss. Okay. I played all the way from uh the original days to mm -hmm. when um. I don't know exactly what to to. It was much after Age of Shadows. You know, it's funny your stream is so far behind. By the time I got to where you were on there, <laughs> yeah, it's like gone. fifteen seconds. <laughs> no, I'm way I'm way behind fifteen. Oh, seconds. really? Really? Yeah, huh. that's weird. Oh, you're looking at your settings so screen on mine. All right, um, let's just pick oh, a spot wow. on the map. How about that? We'll pick. Okay. Do you see the guard tower right next to the bridge, the river on the map? Um, is that the guard tower? I'm trying to. Yeah, the, it's the only place where the path crosses the river, right? Kind of. Oh, the I think I'm map. at the guard tower right now. To oh. the right of me is Doctor Paul's. To Dr. the east Paws. of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You're near town then. Okay. Uh, well, it. I'm like at an intersection, a three-way intersection west of Doctor okay. Paul's, and it's a tower icon. Yep, like my, I'll be right there. Top of it. Sprinting All right. over. Alrighty. Yeah, Rufus the head guard and Isaac the guard. Uh, this must be the place. Alright, I guess the volume's good now, guys. <laughs> Packet Laws Gaming, that's like the best name I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Your game screen is frozen for you guys? Just try to refresh, maybe. Oh no, that's actually my client. Um, so if you alt tab in our game, it drops the frame rate in order to um, kind of allow you to run two clients. 
So um, there's actually an option I should have told you about it. You can set a streamer option so it doesn't do that. OBS. Next stopped. time you stream, I'll make sure to get it. Okay. OBS stopped picking it up. Uh, let me see what I can do here. Oh, that's weird. Uh, let's see. I found you, though. That's a bonus. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Sit tight, you guys. I'm going to fix this up here. Oh, great. We're both mages. This won't end well. Nah, I won't freeze up on you. That's monitor capture. So if the frame rate's kind of jittery, I apologize, guys. But we're good now. All right. All right. All right. I'm the guy standing right next to you here. Prana? Yep, that's All me. All right. So I'll invite you to my group here. Thank you. Um, Let's see. We're newbies. Mm-hmm. Super newbies. What are you in the mood for? We can get you your first house, or we can go kill something in the graveyard. So let's. Uh, I, both of those things are really, really great. I would say. Um, All right. Let's... Well, getting your house requires running through the kind of newbie quest stuff. Okay. Um, well, let's just so... kill something then. Yeah, let's go do that. All right. Thank so you for the one bits, of the cool things the we have while we're over here is. Mm -hmm. um, if you mouse over some of the stuff on this uh, table over here, okay, you see they have a price listed. So when merchants set up their um, their stuff for sale, they just they literally lay it on the table and mark it for sale. Oh, that's great! I love it. Holstered silver iron scale helm, pristine. I don't have any money to give you. I'm poor. Oh, no. It's all good, man. Spent too much time playing the game and not enough time playing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is one of the reasons why I backed because I, I, I'm i such a fan of Ultima. And a lot of the times when you reach out to a developer, you don't know what the game's going to be like, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and this is going to be one of those games that I actually thought was going to be my guilty pleasure. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't really know if uh, I was going to be able to... Oh, crap. I hit something. Yeah, these guys wandered their way out of the graveyard. Right. Welcome, Joseph. I hit something. Thank you for the sub, Morpheus Fox. All, All right, right, so I got a question for you. Um, mm -hmm. There's two ways to to uh, do targeting in our game. Okay. There's the old school UO way, which you obviously seem very familiar with because you're doing it just fine with right. it. Um, which is like the, the you have your combat target, but you still have to tell it what's, what target you want your spell to go to. Uh-huh. That's the UO style targeting, right? Where you cast a spell first, you load it up, and then you right. pick your target. Well, you can queue it, so you can pick the target while you're casting. But anyway, there's also an auto target option, which is it'll automatically fire your spell on whatever your target is. Okay. So that's more like an MMO style, like the newer MMO style right. combat. So it's an option in the settings. If you like the old UO style, go for it. It's yeah, I, I do like the, uh, the, the old UO style. Uh, it's I... really powerful when you when it comes to healing and stuff because you can keep your target that's the guy you're fireballing you know but then you can like cast heal on your group mate and it doesn't change your target right so uh what was, what was very scary about uh, in uo is that in groups you can misclick so <laughs> there's more than one time i fireballed the wrong blue character instead of oh green, yeah you know? I didn't <laughs> so like one the, of the things the, Go ahead. We actually uh, we tried to um, solve that a little bit in our game with a PvP flag. Mm -hmm. So on the hot bar there, the bottom left, there's a little flag. Right. That if that's off, you can't hurt other players, even with AOE. Oh, great. When, it, when it's when it's on, you'll hit anybody. Okay, sweet. So um, it avoids the whole accidental damaging people. It's it's hard for that to fly in a modern game, you know. Right. We got some people over here dancing. And stuff. <laughs> That's quite that's quite a set of moves he's got. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Skeleton. Skeleton. All right. Another one too. So um, for quick looting, if you just hit control and click on them on the corpse, it'll just auto loot everything in it. All right. Pretty handy. And uh, since we're in a group, it'll automatically split our loot, so you don't have to worry about oh, nice. sharing it. So is there any skill that helps you not get interrupted like wrestling was in UO? The interrupt chance is based on some skill. I'm not sure what skill is to check for that. I you should know that. You said control click? 
Control click, yep. You can also right click and just say loot all. Oh, okay. Sweet. Right click is the equivalent of like the single click in Yugo. Nice. Alright, very cool. Why is my music so low? Let's see. If I can affect that. Music volume. Let's see where Jeffrey's at here. Do you plan on adding so-called fluff, meaning all the cool-looking stuff, such as microtransactions? Well, um, we have no current plans for microtransaction-type stuff. So, it is alpha, though. You know, we may we right. may do some stuff later, but you know, I, I don't like nickel and diming people who are pledging to support our project. It just seems right. wrong to me. Stuff gets a little harder when you get over this bridge. I don't know if we should stay on this side or not. Oh, here's somebody. Wants a piece. Who's that? Oh, the skeleton catcher. All right, now the music's up, you guys. I should be able to hear it now. Sweet. We got music now. Woohoo! Alright, that's another thing I love. Micro gains on skills. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it, it makes it worth just doing stuff, you know. Just oh yeah. Emotions. I guess you see the skill tracker underneath your mini your uh, mini map there. You can change um, what skills it's tracking. Ah, very good. So when you open your that would be the equivalent of major. E. Okay. So when I first logged in uh, last time and I was streaming. Uh, mm -hmm. there's these guys that were just rumping, rumping, rumping through town and just p killing people. And <laughs> the guards weren't doing anything. I was like, I was expecting that the guards would notice and they just never yeah. did. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure we've got that stuff worked out by now. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a, um, combat ability that mages get if you have a staff, which you do. So after this fight, I'll show you how to get it. All right. called charged bolt Sweet. very handy Nothing like being a newbie in an MMO, right? I know. Fireball and heal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's a okay. So there's a couple of abilities. Let's take a break for a second. I'll show All you. Right. Oh, we better loot this. Uh oh, uh, we might oh, need to roll out of here. Yeah, captain. let's get the heck out of here. Pretty bad. Okay. Yeah, we're rolling. That thing will whoop our butts. At nighttime, the graveyard gets a lot harder, and it just turned night. Uh, wrong way. All right. <laughs> I'm famous. Oh that, by the way. man. Just play this way, follow don't me. Die, don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> All right. All right. Just heck out of here. There you go. So um, when you have a spell queued up or while you're casting it, mm -hmm. um, there's some hotkeys that you can use. They're like kind of UO style. You have... G for yourself. So, like, if you hit four or hit two, which is your heal, and then G would heal yourself. T is your current combat target. So, whatever you have a little reticle under. Okay. And then Y is the last thing you used an ability or spell on. Oh, so you cool. don't have to change your target. It's cool. kind of like uh, last target in UO. Right. So, Y would be the equivalent of last target. All right. Very cool. There's little, like, diamonds that show up over their heads. Okay, we made it out. 
So okay. first things first, um, pop open your skills window and go to. All right, is that um, key? Scroll down to combat support and expand that one with the little diamond uh, little triangle. And then under regeneration, you have a rest ability. All right, combat support and regeneration and rest. Okay. So you can pop that one. It'll sit you down. And I just rest. Can I hotkey that? Am I sitting there? Yeah, now? drag it to your hotbar. All right. Rest. Mm, oh, there it is. It just took a second. All right. There you go. Okay, okay. the next one is under melee. Okay. Under the very melee. first ability is primary weapon ability. Primary weapon, uh-huh. Drag that one to your hotbar. Okay. That's charged bolt for, oh, it changes based nice. on the weapon that you have. Right, so, okay, nice. Um, with that one, it'll be charged bolt. So it gives you a All little right. bit of a ranged mana free attack. What else? Mana gathering is another one. I don't know when that unlocks. If you check out magic affinity, the first Let's ability see. under there. Magic affinity. It's in combat sport. And then uh, first right. ability. I think you need 10 Man skill, but you might have. You probably have 10 skill by now. I, I think I had unlocked it. Yeah, because it's, it's available. Okay. Sweet. And I did lose my, uh, my heal spell. Where is that? Regeneration. Yeah. Heal right. your heal spell will be under manifestation. Right there we go. Yeah, we didn't go with the spell book like you did. We just have them in the. Sc All right, pretty cool so far. Packet says he has something for you. Uh. Packet loss gaming. Hey, packet loss. I don't know. You know, I bet you these guys could take us somewhere dangerous if you want to go somewhere deep. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's Got dropping him. a bag. Okay. And I just can drag that on me, right? Okay. What do he give you? Let me see. I open my backpack. I got a bag. Coin purse. Hold on, I'm looking for the bag. Got bread. Open the pouch. Holy cow, I got like robes, thick fabric, long robes. Oh, damn. He hooked uh, you up. <laughs> let's see. Thick fabric, long robes. I guess you could just drag that over your body, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some pants. A hat. Oh, you got a mage hat. Now you're a fish fill. I don't even have one of those. Wand. Packet Laws, how come you don't give me anything, man? <laughs> Thank you, Packet Laws. I made the game. Where's my mage hat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. A, a lightning scroll? Ooh, nice. That's yeah, cool. memor memorize it. So you right click oh, and memorize Oh, so you could just right click and memorize. Wow, that skeleton just ran out of oh, nowhere. Crap. <laughs> That's my streamer detection AI. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's dead. <laughs> All right. Also, a health potion. Can you drag that onto your hotbar? You sure can. I love it. Damn right. All right. You'll notice that you'll run out of hotbar slots pretty quickly. Yeah, that's what um, we're going to add a, options for additional hotbars eventually. But for now, you just use shift one through ten and you'll be able to flip your hotbar. Oh, OK, that's cool. Yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Good deal. Well, we got we got a little bit of money. You want to head back to town for a minute? Mm hmm. Let's roll. Let's go. All right. So you have a sprint. 
Uh, key there, zero. Pop that guy. Oh, okay. Right. Since it's running <laughs> nail there speed. There we go. Might make your stuttering a little worse. It's all good. Yeah. It's alpha. I call it the alpha jitters. The way I see it, I'd rather have stuttering here and there than a consistently low frame rate. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how I optimize it for now. I'll let you guys hear the music for a little bit. And I'll look around. That's one thing we finally added with this build was a slider for the uh, sound of music. Yeah. <laughs> it took us two years after Kickstarter to get a slider. <laughs> Adjustable outside of game. Yeah, exactly. That's why we never really push for it. You know, it's like, oh, you use the volume mixer. All right, so we got money. Um, the first thing we probably want to do is get some tools because okay. tools are very handy. Um, did you get your first tool from the mayor yet? Talk to this guy. He'll hook you up with the free tool. Uh, let's see. I think I got a tool from him. Uh, let's see. Uh, Orville, the mail. Excellent. Now that you have somewhat skilled in the tool, uh, you need to make use okay. of yourself useful. I think I had. I was on the. Uh, I think I was on the um, the, the tamers uh, track. Okay. I just want to say, like, if you already got a hatchet from the mayor, you're gonna be buying another. Yeah, I, I think I have a hatchet already. So let's see. There's a fishing rod. That's always nice to have. The, um, do you have a hunting knife in your pack? Uh, let's see. That's kind of a requirement in this game. Oh, pack of loss got me a hat. Thank you, boy. Oh, I do have a hunting knife. Okay, no, good. Pack of, and you, he was just telling you that you didn't get him anything, pack of loss. You uh -huh. see how he wants to do it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see. Let me fix this again. Setting this music volume. All right, you guys. It should be low enough now, now that you know what the music sounds like. Okay, so yeah, I got a, uh, I got a hunting knife now. Switch it. All right. Well, let's take a look at the tools box here and see if there's any other tools we might want to grab. Okay. Um, the tools crate is on the far end here. If you hold control, it, it gives you little handles. Helps you find stuff. Uh, control. Tools for sale. Is that what we're looking at? Mm-hmm. Grab a shovel. Good to have a shovel. Uh, I see a mining pick. I see a shovel. There we go. Uh, pick up. You grab the shovel, I'll grab the, uh, the fishing rod. You said thank you. Okay. And now I should thank have, you. yep, my shovel's Sweet. right here. I'll go ahead and nice. hunt for it. Beautiful. So, I got my fishing rod, you got your shovel. Um, how much uh, coins do you have? I have... How can I tell that easily? In the list views, or just mouse over the coin person, it tells you how much... Uh, let's see. We well, got a couple stacks, don't you? You can drop them on top of each other or stack them together. Coin purse, I have 10 silver. Oh, damn. You hooked you up. <laughs> let's take a look over here. Actually, yeah. It's a good start. All right. Um, I mean, a gold is like a decent amount of money, you know? Silver's not too hard to come by. Right. Um, so in this beginner scrolls box over here, what would be a good one for you to have? You already got lightning. Right. Poison is mostly used in PvP. Okay. Doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. It's um, mostly for interruption and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well they can't heal while they're being poisoned. Right. So they have to they have to cure it before they can heal themselves, so it's really good for that. I don't have uh let's see what I have as far as I have a restore ability for healing. I don't yeah. know if I have a heal heal spell. You can grab a couple of mana potions while we're here. Those are always handy. Get fix you in a pinch. They do um they do get interrupted by combat, I believe, so you gotta kinda like run away from the fight and use it. Refresh potions, is that what I'm looking Refresh for? Refresh does all three. Okay. So mana does just mana. Gotcha. Uh, and these are how much of these did it say? If I hover copper. over it, it'll say it's 80 copper per. Okay, I'll grab another mana potion or two. Okay, got mana potions now. 
I'm gonna pick up a hatchet. Thank you. All right, I'm done shopping. I think I got no mana potions. Potions, bowl of stew, bread, refresh. But I brought refresh potions anyway. I thought I maybe he gave you some. Oh yeah, that's Thank what you. happened. Now I got mana potions, and that updated right <laughs> away. So I can hotkey them um, into just like that. All right, I'm good now. Cool. Let's Beautiful. get out of here. Now, should I bank any of this gold that I have? Can I lose? Yeah, it like, might not hurt. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, to the I mean, bank. I got I got a bunch of money right here. So our, our game is not full loot. Um, so when you die, they can only loot the stuff out of your pack. Okay. Um, it's a server setting, so like community servers can turn it to full loot if they want. All right. But um, on our default game, it's just the stuff you're carrying. But yeah, you don't want to be carrying too much gold around. Thank you, Packet. Packet gave me twenty mana pots. Nice. All right. Here's Packet's your banker like guy right here. Man. Okay. So I can hit. You can right click and bank, or you can just talk to him and ask Henry him to the bank. Bank. Uh, I want to bank items. All right, let's see here. What do we put in? I think I put in all of my money. Uh, I'm gonna keep my food, some loot. I don't know if I should keep these bones or anything. How much mana? Can you split stacks? Mm hmm. Let's see. Right click. Okay. Right click, split stack. Let me just give me a couple more here. All right, I'm gonna take five with me. I guess that's a pretty good number for it. I'll save my refresh for later. I want to bring my tools with me, and I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna keep my backup clothes in my chest. I don't know what I'll ever use it for, but. <laughs> um, armor does decay over time. Okay. So if you mouse over one of your pieces of gear, you'll see the. It has two stats. There's the um, the total durability and then the current durability of the item. So when that when the current durability goes to zero, then you have a chance of it being broken every time it gets damaged. Gotcha. It can be repaired. It can be repaired. Split. You can pay an NPC to repair it, or you can find it a player and probably do it cheaper. Oh, pretty cool then. So what, what kind of stuff do you do when you play your crafting type, your PvP or? Well, I I really really like PvE for the most part. Um, yeah. I like I like the sense of danger that comes on P, PvP when the rewards mm -hmm. are worth it. So like I really used to love going for scrolls in Ultima with mm, a few power people scrolls. because they were so sought after and they were so expensive. Like it was hard to get power scrolls but man if you Ooh. lamed like a 120 mage scroll you were done like you <laughs> you were done for months <laughs> you didn't have to get any gold so it's like risk versus reward if you died you lost a bag of regs you know Who yeah cares, it's know? true man all right i think i'm g g g let's roll all right The graveyard's totally like the go-to place for newbies. That's it. Kind of huh? like the, the cemetery. Remember the Britain Cemetery? Right. Totally. I didn't, uh, I didn't memorize my... Oh, I do have lightning in my hot bar. Okay, I'll need to try out my lightning spell and see how it goes. So every um, every spell has a crit effect on it. Mm -hmm. And um, lightning's crit effect is slow. All right. So it'll, it'll slow them down a little bit. makes it easier to chase. So like lightning's a good spell to do on something that's running away. Oh, cool. How do you um how do you make the name stay up again? Okay. You want to hit H. H. And then hit the insert button a few times until you get it the way you want. So it'll, it'll tell you um if you want it on everybody then it's self All players names, NPCs. filter self NPCs. H2 enable all names. There we go. I'm starving. Uh, I got a fishing pole. Let's go let's go cook up some fish, all right? Man. Let's go eat. Uh, this way. Yeah, I like I like the names up now because I was losing you and uh, I can't tell the character models yet real good. 
Yeah, actually, I, I've been finding that a lot of the players are, are enjoying having the names up. So I might make that the default. Sweet. Hey, everybody that just joined, by the way. Zap, I think I see people talking to you. Zap, you're around. Zap, you are around. Zap, can you do some giveaways for me? I have a ton of keys. That you, you know what? Since, since you're live, I'm going to give you the poll. Let you oh, okay. uh, do some fishing. Let me uh, let me send this these PMs to uh, to Zap if he responds sure. here. All right, I'll toss the rod a couple times myself. Then. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Hey, Mark, I see you, boy. How you doing? <laughs> Are you here, Zappy? I may be way behind. What is up with that? Hey, Drew, what's happening? Did Z break the game again? No. Hey, Zap. What do I need? Can you give me some? Can you give away some keys for me? I have a ton of keys. Let me highlight them. All right. I caught a tarot fish. What kind of fish does? What does that do? Is it special? Um. Well, so with the cooking skill, the different fish give you different bonuses when you when you cook them. Nice. But um, I don't have any cooking skill. We're just gonna use a campfire, <laughs> and you don't you don't get any bonuses from it that ah. way. It just, fill, just fills you up. But the rarer fish are generally bigger, so they're better for filling you up too. You know, I think taro fish is one of the easier ones. I think the barrel fish is the easiest. Seven day keys for shards online. Got another one. And how long have we been live here? Forty six minutes in the next hour. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we should be good. All right, let us All fish. Right. Why don't you grab the fishing pole here and uh, take okay. a cast? One of the things you'll notice is there's a slight delay when you click on stuff. Um, it's just because the uh, we still have a lot of optimizations to do on the server side. All right. Ouch! So. What did I do? Oh, I'm starving. Um, backpack. All right. So. It's probably very intuitive. I just press seven for the fishing pole. Actually, um, there's an actual fish, fishing ability. Oh, that you okay. You grab out of the out of the fishing skill. So that'll be under see. trade. Okay, trade. I do not see trade. Oh, never mind. No, I do. And fishing. Select the skill. Okay. And I put that on my hot bar. Okay. And seven. Away you go. Good cast, bro. That was a good cast. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, Zap, get nuts, man. Give them away. I gave you a bunch. Do whatever you you wish with them. Yeah, I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them all away in this stream, man. That's Dang. what keys are for, right? Yeah. That's their whole purpose in life is to be redeemed. <laughs> I'm a, uh, because of the industry I'm in, I, and the way that I, I run my channel, 
I, you know, I'm constantly emailing developers and getting keys from media outlets and stuff and, uh, and marketing agencies and publishers. So mm-hmm. I'm, my Steam library is, is getting fat. And mine's small <laughs> compared to some of the other YouTubers I know, but like I go yeah. through keys, like sometimes I install seven or eight games a day. It's crazy, man. <laughs> All right, my fishing skill went up by one. And I'm still not That's good, good, man. Yeah, I got 10 fishing, so I managed to catch a couple for us. Nice. Nice. So what would you say, you know how there was GM skills in Ultima and stuff? What was you? Mm-hmm. What would you say to master a skill would take uh, in this game? Like, so if it's... I wanted to master fishing and I would just sit here doing mm-hmm. the dang thing, what am I looking it's at? It's something that we're still working out, you okay. know. Um, we're constantly tweaking it. I can't tell you how many times those values have been changed since we started. Uh, we're trying to get it right. You know what it is? I think some of our skills are in a good place and some of them need work. Right. Um, so the skills that are in a good place, we have some people that have a few GM skills already. I think we might even have a six times GM already. Wow. And we, the last time we wiped, which is the last wipe before Steam was three months ago. Okay. So that means so somebody got six times GM in three months. But that's, I mean, you're talking about somebody who's online almost all the time. Right. You know? um, so if that gives you any indication, I guess. Right. We do six times GM, not seven, because the trade skills are not in the same category as combat and support. Oh, you see, I, I'm really glad you guys made that decision because you don't know how many times I would have just liked 35 freaking fletching skill on my archer just to make some <laughs> arrows right quick on the fly. You know, here I am, a master yep. archer in Ultima, and... I couldn't even make my own damn arrows. I had to go to a freaking shop. Can't even make a crappy arrow. If they were out of stock, I'm like, man, all I want to do is shoot something, please. (laughs) So I'd have to log into another character. I'd have to go to a tavern or go to my house and log out and make sure that I'd load in Mm. my little mule character and I would make a bunch of arrows and put it in a secure chest. Or before I had a house, leave them in some obscure spot and hope they were still there. (laughs) Oh, my God. It was so (laughs) so messed up. I know oh, which, exactly what you're talking about. So in our game, uh, there's 200 skill points that are not related to combat whatsoever. Okay. They do not affect combat. Great. So you can always take, you know, the idea is one harvesting skill, one crafting skill. Right. Um, and then your support skills, that would be your regens and your and the rogue skill. Mm-hmm. Those are under a 200-point cap. So you can take two of those. Um, it makes some, for some tough choices for rogues. But... Um, yeah. And then the uh, the combat, you get four primary combat skills. Um, all right, so we got a question from Progs. He said, what engine is this game running on? Um, so there's two engines. There's the client engine, um, which does the graphics and the uh, menus UI. And then we have our server-side engine. The client engine is Unity. Um, the server-side is a custom engine that we built from scratch. Very doesn't cool. use Unity at all. All right, I think I have a good little bit of fish here. So the primary reason why we went with a custom engine on the server side, well, there's two. Um, one of them is not many engines give you the, the actual, like, the total power that we have and the control we have, like, with objects in the world. Um, and the other one is we wanted to make sure it was moddable, and so I, I made sure that the engine, the server side engine, was built from the ground up to be moddable. So I have some four-eyed salers. I got, Perfect. I got some. Okay. We're ready so to you can fillet them up. You just just right-click on them and fillet them up. Okay. I'll get you some fish fillets. All right. Gotta go find fillet. a tree. Let's go find a tree. We got to make a campfire. We need some wood. Uh, I'll be, you need there's a, a tree right knife. up here. I'll grab. You, I do have a hunting knife. So try putting it in your top. Yeah, you might have to just have it at the top. Uh, let's see here. Hunting knife. Uh oh. I think I put it in the bank by accident. You can borrow mine. All right. No problem, man. We're bros. All right. Now I can fillet, guys. Fish. There we go. All right, I got some fillets now. Let me pop a campfire down. 
that's something that you could just craft? Yeah, you don't need any skill for that. You just um, harvest up some wood, and then you can right-click on the wood and make a campfire with it. All right. So now I have to right-click, cook. Now I'm just going to select. There we go. Tasty. Cook. I'm eating mine too. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great things about this game is like, I find myself sometimes like I'll play for hours, just messing around with taming. And I won't even gain really like, I'll gain like two skill points the whole time for like hours, you know? Right. But it's just like, you just get lost in the game. You just yeah. have fun with it. You know, it's like, I just, I hate those games where I have to sit there and just go, okay, I'm going to get XP and that's all I'm going to do. Uh, yeah. Or resources. Like I am, I have a lot of uh, fans here that are survival fans and I've mm -hmm. played survival games for a long time and when you're trying to engineer an episode for the next day some tasks are much bigger than others and putting together <laughs> resources for some of these builds that people want to see and stuff is uh -huh. just it's nuts man it's really really it's really, really I mean tough. harvesting is a very real thing in this game I mean it takes time to gather resources sure, you know sure <clears throat> trying to tame this rat so how do you tame we were trying to figure that out uh, um you right click on the animal and pick tame but you probably don't have enough skill to do a rat i uh, probably need to do like a chicken or something huh yeah or a rabbit gotcha. um the the best thing to do is the um the animal can skill has an evaluate ability and oh, it'll yeah, tell yeah, you yeah it. uh, it'll tell it. you the difficulty like if you use that on the rat it'll tell you how hard it is to tame the rat okay I evaluate that's gonna be under I got him good job we got a pet rat yeah man what is uh where did the, where's the uh, beast mastery I bet huh no animal kin yeah now I got it all right let's do instead of fishing here all right now we'll be able to, to see did you name the rat Hang on one second, I'm gonna AFK. Sure, man. You can have skeleton pets and imp pets in the Necro skill. That is good, I like it. I like Necro pets. Yes, Necromancy. Rise, split. You got, you got some, uh, you got some key bladder? Awesome. Congrats to the winners, you guys, and thanks for hanging out with us. This is fun. Uh, where do you enter the key, people are asking. Okay, Zap, I will check on that in just a minute. I'm pretty sure you can... Um, I think you can download the client. Oh, wait. I'm going to have to figure out. I think you have to register on the on Shards Online website. And then... From there, I want to say once you register, it's going to ask you if there's a key or you can just download the client and you can enter a key in the client, I believe. Yeah, so the, the codes that you're giving out are on the, you give you redeem them on the dashboard. Okay. So um, if the mod can give out that link, that'll be the easiest way yeah, to get we them there. Should, we, I, I, I can actually give that out too. Let's see here. Sure. I think you click my account on the site in the top corner, and that takes you to the dashboard, even if you don't have an account. Shards Online. So it's shardsonline.com, and then you get my account, and then redeem for promo codes. Yep. Yeah. Shardsonline.com slash dashboard. I will enter that into chat, you guys. Or I'll just give it to, uh, to Zap. And Zap could display it as he sees fit or create a command or whatever. There we go. All right, I need my rat Pikachu. Pikachu! I choose you! All right. Think Pikachu can take a deer? Hell yeah, dude, he's Pikachu! We can <laughs> help him. All right, here we go. Ready? All right. Uh, what happened here? Oh, that's the wrong pet. Hold on. 
One of the tricky things about pets is you have commands that are specific to a pet, and then you have commands for all pets. So when you um, when you use the commands, it's usually better to just drag the all pets commands so that you don't um, have to worry about what pet you have out, you know? Right. Is that deer just running away? No, I just hit him with a lightning bolt. <laughs> I, I, I warmed him up. My pet don't want to attack. One of the things I will say is that, you know, there's some things that are more developed than others. He's just taking his time. Once some things that are more developed than others, taming has a ways to go in terms of being ready for steam. So just yeah. give you a little warning there. Right. They defend pretty good, but they don't like to attack, man. The so rats? Tell them to attack, and they're just like, huh. eh. eh. That's funny. Yeah. Like I said, we, uh, it's on our hit list of things to address once the alpha right. madness ends. <laughs> it's making sense. Right. <laughs> that is realistic deer sounds, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. Uh, Ultima used a lot of uh, stock sound mm -hmm. effects. And to this day, when I watch movies and stuff, uh, I have like flashbacks of hearing that. Like, one oh, day I do that too, man. Movie. I hear it all the time. Yeah, one day I'm listening to my wife. My wife is watching a movie and I'm doing something on the computer. And I mm -hmm. hear this awful, like, <laughs> I'm like, that's a fucking sheep from uh from Ultima oh, yeah. Online. That's like when you're killing a lamb. It was so it was so point on, man. Oh god. You know what's the one I hear all the time is the door closing sound from the original Doom. That's in a lot of stuff, <gasps> yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's there's so sci-fi movies and yeah. stuff. There's so many things. <laughs> it's funny, man. I'm going to show you something here. I will be leaving you in a little bit. You're welcome to stream as long as you want. Okay. Um, and I'll keep you on the featured stream. Nobody else is like officially streaming tonight, so I'll just leave you on the featured stream All right. for the night. No biggie. Um, but I was going to show you something before I parted ways with you. All righty. Which is the edge of the guard zone. Oh, okay. We are in guard-protected land here. How do you know that, that? You actually don't you don't. just gotta, gotta know <laughs> okay i got you i got you <laughs> um what basically divides it is the river so okay. everything west of the river is not guard protected everything east of the river is oh okay so like if i was to attack you it's a little jittery here but if i was to attack you right here even if these guards weren't standing here guards would come out of nowhere and kill me right right they if just we go on this you. side here now the guards are not going to uh, help you. you have left the protection that's what we mm -hmm. needed to know yeah all right. so if i um if i hit you with a fireball I do right turn my pvp flag on so oh we're in a group so i didn't turn gray i was going to show oh. you how he turned gray right. but let's take these snakes out real quick Yes, we borrowed the colors from UO for aggressors and murderers. <laughs> they just work, you know, yeah, gray and do. red. That just makes sense. They do, man. Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. We are a little more brutal with the murderer stuff. Um, if you kill one person, you get murderer status. We, we might end up changing that. Um, but it burns off faster, so it only takes two hours to burn off a murder okay. count. I had a couple old perma reds <laughs> on my old account. Oh, I'm going down! All right. Don't I? <laughs> okay, so let's drop the group so I can show you this real quick. Go. All right. Group. And then now if I hit you with a fireball. There I go. Oh, Should I turn yeah. into aggressor? Now, gray. Yeah, now yeah. I can be attacked by anybody. Right. And even if we were, and he just turned gray for bandaging me. See that? Yeah, I see that now. So right. now, if you were to attack me, you will not turn gray. Because you're gray, and that's that's technically. Oh, <laughs> who's that? 
Somebody That's came out of uh -oh. He's our resident thief. <laughs> <laughs> now, because that guy turned gray, the guards aren't going to protect him from blurbs. Right. But if I attack blurbs, where'd he go? Man, they ran off. Uh huh. They're gone. Like. Oh, there's blurbs. See, I don't know if I don't think I can hit him with a fireball. I think the guards will come after me if I do. Yeah, most likely because he's yeah. not gray to you. Not now. We're if he aggresses zone. you, he won't turn gray because nope. you're wanted. Yeah. Yeah. I used to love seeing grays on my mage my too. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably not killing me because he knows that Prana is my game character, or he may be watching the stream too. So anyway, we got a bit of that um, criminal system in there. Nice. Um, another thing that we have that's kind of cool mm -hmm. um, is, let's do this. Um, I'm going to make a guild Maybe real quick. The Guardian okay. Is swift. All right. Oh, Blurbs just got nailed. <laughs> Naja <laughs> just smoked him. <laughs> okay, so... Accept the guild invite. Oh, you might have to leave your newbie guild. Okay. Type how do slash, I do that? slash leave guild, I think. All right. Slash. Um, if you do slash help, it's a, you get a list of the help slash commands. I know slash commands are kind of old school, but, um, you know. Oh, no. You know, you you open the guild window, Greetings, which will be in your character right. window. All right. Cheers. And then just hit leave from there. Uh, guild leave. Confirm. Okay. I have left. All right, now I'll invite you. Sweet. So, you're now in the guild Army of Zul. Sweet. And um, and now, if I open the guild window, I can choose to join um, one of the factions. So there's the water faction and the fire faction. Um, see how Naja here has a like a red um, symbol next to his yeah. name? Yeah. Yeah. That means he's in the fire faction. Okay. So just for argument's sake, now we probably shouldn't do that. I was gonna say we could join the water faction, then we could attack him, but he'll he'll just wreck us or she will wreck us. Uh, I think if I'm here, we'll join fire just so that you can. All see. right. My moderator is asking me whether or not the word promo is included in the key. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. The whole thing. Copy Correct. paste the whole thing. Yes. yes. Um, and that that is what just gets you your account. You still right. need your access code. That's on the dashboard. So right. don't think that you use the promo code in the client because some people do that. So now we are a fire. We are fire. If you open the guild window, I think you can see the faction. You see the allegiance tab there? Well, let me open it back up. Guild uh, allegiance. Yeah. Pyros, the fire god. Friendly with neutral guilds, hostile with the water guild. So it's yep. basically just like factions, almost like uh, if I see somebody, whether it's in a guard area or not, free attack. I'm free right. kills you, too. If, yeah. if we if we stumble upon a water person, we're right in the middle of town. We can have a little melee. Good with deal. Them. Good deal. And the guards don't get involved. All right. Yeah, faction v faction. That's how it was. In, cool uh, stuff. That's how it was in Yo too. That's good, man. All right, I want to show you one more thing before I leave. I know sure. I said that. Right. All right, let's go back to the graveyard. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's go to the one under the waterfall because it's so pretty. This okay. way. My wife's going to kill me, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> let's pop that sprint and get moving. All right. Yeah, you leave because I'm terrible with directions. The worst. Does it already go away? Or do I have to just re-click it? Oh no, that's a stamina thing. I got you. My stats suck. Yeah. Sorry for the alpha jitters. That's all good. These people have so many houses, items in their houses. Check this guy. He's got a freaking roast pig on his front yard. Ha <laughs> ha! He's expecting <laughs> company. And a we actually had our um, we had our Christmas dinner there. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs> This is the dead gate, so um, as the game grows, we'll be opening up all like uh, parallel universes, and this okay. gate will activate eventually. You'll be able to travel to the other universes. Oh, nice. Okay. Kind of like, 
copies of the same world. Right, you know? right. Facets. 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 We have we have one already. We have one for Europa. It's hosted in Europe. Okay. Um. But right now you don't use the dead gate to travel to Europa. You use a gate stone. You have to find an alchemist. Gotcha. All right. I get lost in this in these woods all the time. So stay close. Okay. Will do. How's your stamina doing? Because we might need it to run away from uh, something. I'm at 55 now. I can I can run away. Pop a squat. Pop a squat real quick. Let's get the full stamina. Uh, my full stamina is like 60. I think. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it's, All right, it's pretty roll. much done. <laughs> Oh, I like the ambience. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go, this way. <laughs> oh, man. That guy. Who? Oh. Blurb? One of the... Oh, one arachnid. of the gods. You got a spider on you. <laughs> one of the gar, gar uh, blah. One of the other devs told me I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Is he supposed to be partially invisible? Yeah, yeah, he's cloaked. Okay, gotcha. All right, this way. I promise I am the creator of this game. It's all good, though. I you, man. <laughs> I'll make my channel. I think it's I actually could... a good thing, right? When you get lost in your own game. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a good sign. I would definitely get lost in my own game. I get lost it's a in good my, feeling. my bed sheets, man. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got a tour guide. Yeah, he's just taking us around. Your friendly neighborhood thief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go that away. Thank you, blurbs. <laughs> Appreciate it, dog. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's there's people. Other people. Yeah. So you getting a a UO vibe, man? Yeah, definitely. If uh the the biggest most nostalgic thing about UO is the hold on, I'm lost here. My vision just totally went away. Oh, I gotta zoom in more. There we go. Um, yeah, my uh, my biggest bit of nostalgia for um, UO is the music. So, mm -hmm. like, I can even hear the music sometimes. Um, do we activate this? Oh yeah. Um, I hear. So, like every time I get in the water in a boat on something like I was playing Rafted the other day, which is a little mm -hmm. up and coming indie game, and I really just wanted to hear the UO sailing music, man. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we are working with a company in Germany. They did our um, theme music, mm -hmm. the, the login music, right? And uh, they're also a startup company, and they're really, really into like really immersive music. Awesome. So we're gonna have a really sweet soundtrack when it comes to Steam. Very, very good. I'll definitely be excited about that. I'm, I'm a real big person. The other night I streamed Mega Man Two, <laughs> and that was a good portion of the decision why I did it. Just because I wanted to jam some of those old Mega Man soundtracks, man. Uh oh, this is. Um... <laughs> we can let Naja fight that guy. Or... All right. Is he gonna fight him or not? I don't know. Well, I don't know if he's fighting him or not. Hey, let's get this guy. Now this area is really not for newbies. I wouldn't go in there. Back out, back out, back out. <laughs> we want to kill like one at a time, you know? Yeah. Uh, All right. You want to group with these guys? Because I got to roll. Um, no, if you, to have you. To, if you have to go, I'll probably just go back to the other graveyard. Oh, okay. This is a dangerous place. Yeah. What kind of tour guide would I be if I didn't show you the dungeon, though? You know? Right. <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks pretty dangerous in here. So, what's <laughs> the easiest way to get back? Um, I have a bind portal spell we can use. Oh, he's somebody's trying to kill you. No, I accidentally had my PVP oh, flag okay. on. All right. All righty, let me pop my portal. Oh no, I need turkey feathers. What? Oh, let me see if these guys have one. 
turkey feathers. <laughs> Please tell me you have one. Super Mario World at DuckTales for my next retro? I don't know. There's a bunch of retros I want to do. Technically, Friday is supposed to be Flashback Friday, but we doing... We in, the, we in old school spirit tonight. For sure. The stream's about to go to shit anyway, you guys. I get to drink one tonight, so... <laughs> <laughs> After is, that, is that part of your diet? Uh, it is when I have worked. When I was when I when I've behaved all week, yes, I can indulge just a little bit. Nice. I have uh today. I have uh 800 calories left to go. That's not counting my exercise. So mm -hmm. I did really really good. So I'm thinking these guys. Oh, he's got one. Sweet. We lucked out because apparently our designer thought it was a good idea to put the exits to the dungeon in a different place than the entrance. Right. Um, which is great for, like, you don't have to worry about people camping the portal, you know? Right. But when it comes to getting out, if you don't know where the exit is... <laughs> thank you, I, Naja. I'm casting so much faster now. Yeah, so, um, this, um, this dungeon area is on a different physical server. So, it doesn't have the lag because it doesn't have, you know, however many people are on the main server on here. Sweet. All right, let's roll out of here. I have no idea where I'm bound. I think I'm bound at that dead gate. There we go. Yeah, Note to self, to make sure I have a turkey feather before I go in a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back near the dead portal here. So the reason so, why I need a turkey feather is that some spells require reagents. We don't have all the spells that require reagents, but okay. things that like bind portal and summon skeleton stuff, right. they they still require them. So let me try to get. Uh, let me eat this um, this fillet really quick. Eat, and if I look at my map here, the graveyard because I wasn't paying attention exactly where it was. Mm -hmm. Is there any way to zoom the map, by the way? Not yet, no. Okay, so the graveyard is where from where we're at right now. Do you see that um, the little icon on the bottom right near where it says the void? Yes, yes, yes. That's that's the... Uh, so the catacombs area. around the catacombs area? Yep. All right. That's the newbie mobs. Yay! All right. I Just don't go over now. the bridge. Once you get over the bridge, they get tougher. Uh, okay, I got you. Got you very good. And west of this river that's uh, west of us here is the... Um, is PvP too, right? So I gotta stay yep. clear from there. All right. Technically, I don't know if guards protect you in the in the graveyard, but there's kind of this like understanding that you don't gank people in there because it's newbie land. Sweet. So if I get ganked, I guess it'll it'll happen. It happens. Part of the experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you don't get ganked once in a while, what's the point right. in having open PvP? <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. You have to get. Oh, I enjoyed things. showing you the game. I hope you enjoyed uh, my little tour. I did, man. Thank you very much, and thanks for uh, answering all the questions and and hanging no out problem. with me. No problem. And cool. um, as you continue to play, man, we'll get to some more interesting bits. You know. Yeah, absolutely. If the uh, you know my email and you're you invited to my Discord now, so pop in anytime and just sweet. Give me well, any you have open get... invitation to stream all weekend. So if you choose to stream again, you're welcome to. You don't have to ask for permission. All right, man. Thank you very much. Cool. And uh, I'll cut it off Sunday this time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, man. Good talking right, with you. Man. And thanks, everybody, for listening to me. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right, dude. Peace. Thanks.